Well, I guess my question was, yep. um, and you pretty much described what, what, I mean, when you become aware of things you're doing, the next night I didn't want to go to sleep. Yes, you were fri fried to even because sleep. Because I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that. I don't want, to, I don't want any part of it. I want it to be gone, and you know, intellectually I know that I need to feel the emotion that's driving the action in my sleep state, uh, but I'm wondering if, if you could just go through that maybe in relationship to the sleep state and connect that a little bit better for, for us or me or... Sure. Because I, I... Do you mind you know, if I give some specific detail about your no, situation? No, 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 okay. no, not at all. Correct me if I'm wrong, so keep the okay. mic there with you. So I had these recollections that he had built a sort of a place in the sleep state, in the hills in the sleep state, where he would take women and basically have sex with them. Is that, that's basically the memories that you've been having from your sleep state. So, so he would, he, and not all of them were his wife, Selena. So, so this is like the challenging thing for both of them in their relationship, the fact that is not all of them uh, his wife, that there's other women coming. And, and Selena has feelings that she has been there too, like watching it all happen as well. So you can imagine the feelings that they're having to go through as a result. Now, these feelings, um, firstly, are driven by events that are way, way long ago. So in other words, they're driven by feelings that you, you have regarding yourself sexually and what you can get away with women, basically, in this case, right? And so, um, so while you might have, um, and I say might loosely, you might have a marriage that's um, involved with fidelity, the reality is in your sleep state that's not actually happening. So in other words, there are actions that are being taken in your sleep state that are not, that are not in harmony with love of your partner and certainly not in harmony with love of yourself or any of those things. So... So the question then becomes, firstly, how do we access these events? So we wake up, so in the morning we wake up... AJ, AJ, can I just, I'm sorry, can I just, like, is there a, just a mess of spirits going on here right now? Of course, because many of the spirits have been involved in these activities all of their life on earth and then in the spirit world as well. And they don't understand how such events could actually occur. But once they pass into the spirit world, they have a memory of what happened. So if you don't have a memory of it now, what will happen, or you refuse to have a memory of it now, what will happen is you'll pass and you'll gain a memory of it soon after you pass. And you'll, you'll actually attract the events, of course, because your soul's still in the same condition, and you'll attract, and therefore, all of the memories associated with all the things you did when you were asleep. So right from when you were a child, inside of your soul is a memory of everything you've done when you're asleep and awake. And, and at the moment, most of us are in complete denial of what happened when we're asleep. And the main reasons why we're in denial of it is because we want to be, because it's bad. <laughs> That's how we feel, right? We feel we have something shame for, of, to be ashamed of, and so we don't want to remember it. But the reality is, too, that many of people are more truthful in their sleep than they are in their awake state. So in your awake state, you get to put on the facade. The mask that we wear is often present, right? And so the mask that everything's fine sexually, I've got everything under control, can be in my awake state, while at the same time, every night, I'm having sex with different people. Right? So those two events can be happening at the same time. And it's only our addiction to the facade that causes us to maintain what we believe is a social etiquette or norm when we're in our awake state. But when we're in our sleep state, because of the, the fact is that there's no restrictions on our behaviour and most of our emotions will dictate our behaviour, and because of that, we generally will engage in activity that we wouldn't normally consider to engage in our awake state. And it's actually rare for a person in their sleep state to be in a better condition than their awake state pretty rare event actually usually we're in a worse condition when we're in our sleep than in our awake state this this whole process kind of well it was initiated a lot by some of selena's work but yeah. it also 
I became aware that the left side of my spirit body was actually very dark and very decrepit and very, and so then I had a clue that... So you had pictures that the left side of your body... And actually my left eye was, spirit body was blind. Yeah. And so then I knew that it, it, it was female and, and I went, you know, I did some work with my mom, but then, and then this thing came out of my sleep state and I knew, well, it's, it's just massive abuse of women. And, yeah. and so, yeah. you know, I now see, I now have seen my spirit body in the hells, all gray, just, and, and that's a really startling awakening to, you know, because, you know, I thought I was okay. I thought I'd handled it and everything's good and I'm, I'm Psy and, yeah. and I'm a, you know, going to be a star someday. And I'm a progressive <laughs> and, and angel, then, yeah. And then this <laughs> gray, the, I, I see this terrible gray spirit body yeah. that's, that's actually my, I mean, that's, that's the person I'm going to be when I pass. If I passed right now, Correct. That's who I am, and that's where I'll live. Correct. And that was a real startling reality for me. Yes. And yes. Motivator. <laughs> yes. Later in the week, I'm going to read you some excerpts from the Life Elysium, uh, where it talks about the the difference between a person's awake and sleep state, um, and what actually what what causes the degradation of our you know moral condition which is really what we're talking about here, the degradation of our moral condition. 